Hey guys, and welcome to the Ben 10 add-on for Bedrock Minecraft. Adding in, as you can see on my wrist right now, the Omnitrix and all of the original 10 aliens from the show. Can the weather please clear up? The coolest part is when we activate it, there are full-on transformations for each individual alien. Oh, what is even happening? Oh my goodness, here we go! Yo! And in today's video, your boy is going to be showing off every single one of them. So if you do end up liking this video, then be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more content just like this one. But with all that said, uh, I don't have master control, so I, I need to wait for the battery to run out. Oh, I'm quick now. As you can see in this chest, at the moment, there is only the original 10 alien Omnitrix. However, we do also have the Ultra Matrix and the Hero Watch. If you have no idea what these are like I didn't, then you clearly haven't seen Ultimate Alien and I'm pretty sure Ben 10 Omniverse? Pretty much these are different versions of the Omnitrix that Ben 10 acquires, or should I say different versions of Ben 10 acquire. Of course, we have the original Omnitrix prototype, which we see from the original series. And then here we have the red, which is, to put it short, bad guy Ben, uh, as you can see, he should have all of the exact same monsters. But if I transform into Accelerate again real quick, let's press this in. I'm I'm pretty sure this Accelerate should look a little bit different, if I'm correct. Oh, I hope I am, and oh, I'm wrong. God. Oh, man. oh, no, it does not, thank goodness. <laughs> and of course, the same goes for the Hero Watch. If I chuck the Hero Watch on, and if I scroll through, let's go Accelerate, just so we can make sure all of them do match up. And I quickly transform into Accelerate with the Hero Watch on this time. First things first, you can notice the background of the areas does also look different. And now we can see this Accelerate much more noticeable of a different color scheme. But of course, yeah, he will have the exact same abilities as both other watches, which is pretty cool. So let's de-transform, there we go. And now, you know what? I'm just going to show off all of the base Omnitrix designs. And if you guys want to see what the Hero Watch and the Villain one look like for yourself, then be sure to download the mod link down below. But with all that said, right, let's jump into actually showing off what we can do as every alien and what we have to dive into. Because there are a few other items in this mod, including the Ketatomic Blaster, which I don't quite know what that is. The Level Up Token, just allowing us to fully level up, which I don't think makes a difference yet. But then also Mana Control, which I'm not quite sure what that does either. But we'll grab the Level Up Token and use that just so we can be max level. Level. Chuck that back in here. And the Kinetic Blaster, you can see uh, if I... Yeah, um, yeah, okay, here we go. You can see in my offhand right now, I can charge it up every now and then and fire off a single blast, which... I mean, looks cool visually, but that's about it. Now, to everyone wondering, will there be more Omnitrixes added in the future? Like the Ultimate Watch from Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, or technically Alien Force? I don't know if that one has a different name, but all of those are in development right now, including all of the aliens for them. But with all the boring talking stuff out of the way, let's jump into some of the mobs, which unfortunately don't have any spawn eggs at the moment. And let's head over to the testing zone, the weapon testing zone. Yeah, this should work. Here we go. All the mobs you can find in this mod are pretty simple. You can spawn them in right here, or they'll spawn throughout the world. You can run into the robots, or you can run into the dimension portals, which will allow you to encounter different versions of each of the aliens, as you can see here. And all of these, oh man, have amazing models, but also a little boss fights that you can get involved in, which is sick. But to fully show off these characters, let's jump out of creative mode and let's actually jump in to using the Omnitrix. To use it, all I have to do is click shift while holding the Omnitrix. And you know what? Let's start at the very beginning with the very first alien. I'm pretty sure Ben turns into, oh man, I need to get back to it. Hold on. There he is. Heat Blast. Now, let's see. This is going to make me dive into my memory bank here, seeing if I can remember all the different names, bro. Let's go! Is it Heat Blast or is it Heat Ray? Oh, I'm just gonna go with Heat Blast. I'm probably saying the wrong name. I'm sorry, boys. As you can see, we have five different moves as Heat Blast, starting with Fire Tower, Plasma Cross, Stone Heat Manipulation, Surface of the Sun, and Fire Flight. And of course, I've got my test subjects right here, so we can test all of these out. Starting off with Flame Tower. Let's see what this one does. And... Ooh! Okay, I'm pretty sure, yes, there is. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure each move has custom animations. So let's see that one again, but this time in F5 mode. So now I use Flame Tower. There we go. That is awesome. Yes. All right. Moving on to the next one being Plasma Cross. Just so we can see the animation. Let's use it here. 
Ooh, whoa! Okay, so it looks like we shoot fire in every direction, making literally a cross-like shape. Okay, next one up is stone heat manipulation. So, whoa, okay. Um, uh-huh. Oh, so those stones are just going to float in the air now? All right, bliss. And then surface of the sun. We're basically about to drop a heat track on these boys. So, surface of the sun, go. Uh-oh. Sick. Okay, the fact that there's a little bit of a little custom cutscene there as well, that is awesome. I do want to see if this uh, stone heat manipulation one has any custom effects to it if we actually use it on people. So, oh! Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, well, this is why we move away from the old areas in case stuff like this happens. Ah, oh, crap. But it looks like we can use it to pull up rocks into the sky. And then, if I'm correct, let's quickly spawn in some peeps over here. There we go, guys. Yeah, don't worry. Stay over there for a minute. Just stay over there. If I look over there and use the ability like this. Yeah! It kind of moves the towards where I am looking. That's pretty cool. And extremely destructive, to say the least. <laughs> and of course, our last ability as Heat Blast is Fire Flight, which we jump up in the air for and then can ride along fire. I will say, I kind of wish the effects were a little bit stronger underneath my feet, just so you could really tell I was riding along the fire. But either way, this is still pretty sick. But now, with all that said, we should uh, probably jump into the next alien, shouldn't we? So let's uh, de-transform. There we go. And up next, I'm pretty sure it's Wild Mutt. Let's, yeah, let's see. I really hope this is the right names. If I'm saying these names wrong, oh, you guys are going to bully me. I grew up with Ben 10, all right? I haven't seen the show in years. I'm sorry. But let's jump in to Wild Mutt. Click. Oh, no. Oh, okay, we have to do a full loop. Hold on a second. So, Wild Mutt. Let's go. How's this transformation look? Okay, similar start. We should get some fur, right? Yeah! Oh, I love that! That is so cool. The fact that it adds to your skin. Yeah, there he is. All right, and of course it starts raining again. Rain, you always find a way to ruin this, don't you? Come on. As Wild Mutt, we have three different abilities. Let's have a look. We got Beast Stomp, Wild Slash, and Galactic Roar. Okay, why is it still green? Oh no, oh no, I've broken the game already. This could actually be part of Wild Mutt's thing because I'm pretty sure he can smell people, but uh, <laughs> honestly, I can't see sh So unless I'm just doing it wrong, maybe if I like spawn in some monsters, do they automatically get picked up on like in the fog? No, that no, it just makes it very hard to see. All right, screw it. Let's show off the ability. First one being a stomp. Oh, literally a stomp. Then second move being wild slash, which should be a dive slash dive sl That's actually cool. Wild Mutt's abilities seem to be very rapid, though. Like, the charge up for the stomp's already back, and then I can land down here, stomp on him, dash over, slice. Like, that's much quicker than the other ones. And then our last one should be Galactic Roar. Okay, let's see what this does. Go. Oh, whoa. Oh, right. And they're dead. Uh, <laughs> sick. There we go. I really love the look of the aliens. And especially if I like hold shift, I'm like he's got a little sit down. And that's so cute. <laughs> I really like that. Uh, but let's uh, de-transform real quick. There we go. Hopefully he's the only alien we have the fog problem with. But I guess we're going to find out when we jump into the next one. Being, I'm pretty sure, I mean, everyone knows forearms. Forearms, boy. He is a classic favorite of mine. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on. Grow forearms. I haven't seen half of these. Yes! Half of these animations I actually haven't seen. So these are all a first time viewing for me. And yes, it's not foggy. Oh, thank goodness for that. Dude, look at the, look at the actual, ah, the model. I am like fully moist looking at forearms right now. Don't quote that, all right? <laughs> Yo, this is sick. So we have a few abilities with forearms being ultimate jump, rock throw, meteor crash, and palm gale. Okay, sure. First one being the jump. So it should probably be just a look and... Whoa! Oh, 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 wow! It actually hurts. Wait a minute. Sorry, my inner demons came out there and I don't know why. I'm getting excited. Let's do this. Spawn all these guys in. There we go. I should also say each one of these guys does actually have like a proper attack animation. So all these moves aren't all they can do. But if I jump... Yo, did it hit them? I can't tell if I actually hit them. Hold on a second. I need to try that again. So jump. And, and they're dead. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is sick. <laughs> that is real cool. Next up, we have Rock Throw. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> now, that's a lot of damage. That's awesome. Then we have Meteor Crash, which are uh, right click. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're dead. Yep. Yeah, sorry, boys. Yep. Yeah, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, Forearms is definitely looking like my favorite in this mod as well. 
at least until they add um, some of the ultimate alien ones like Swamp Fire and Alien X. Oh man, he's gonna be busted. But anyway, spawn some more of these boys in. Sorry guys, you're the only test subjects I've got. I'm sorry. Then we have Palm Gale. Is this gonna be like a, a clap? Oh. Hey, guys, you're not meant to block the screen when I show off the ability. You know what, for that, you're all getting stomped. Boom. Yes, and then jump. No, jump. Oh, I can't use the abilities back to back. Oh, that's sad. Well, let's try this again. Clap. Yes! Okay, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. There we go. So that is everything with forearms. And you guys have probably noticed as well from my jump ability, when I jump up, you can probably see there are actually different falling animations. And that is for every alien, as you can see here. Every alien, because you are going to fall off real extreme heights, they have all custom falling animations as well, which is just a nice little detail. RYP always knows how to make these character models and animations subtle, but super effective, and I love it. But now, let's move on to the next alien. Who's up past forearms? This is where my memory will start getting a bit... Ah, accelerate. Okay. We've already seen this transformation, but let's check out his abilities real fast. Did you get it? <laughs> fast. Oh, such a funny joker. There we go. Yes, boy. Oh, Accelerate was a guy. Oh, he was so cool. Then again, all the classic aliens might just be cool because of nostalgia. I'm not too sure. But obviously, as Accelerate, we have three different abilities and we can run super quick already, which is nice. Uh, always pretty nice to be able to do that as a fast character. And then we have these starting abilities being faster kicks, Vortex Titan, and Tornado Speed or Speed Tornado. Let's start with the kick. So... Okay, all right, that is probably the most basic version of the ability I could have expected. Second move up is Vortex of Titan. Let's spawn more of these boys in, and Vortex. Oh, okay, that's a cool one. And then Speed Tornado. Ooh, 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 I like that, I like that. All right, we gotta, we gotta get moving through these. This video's going for a while already. I've only shown off a few aliens. There's still so many more to go. All right, let's jump into the next one. Who have we got after Accelerate? After Accelerate, we have... Ooh, ooh, who's this one? Is this Grey Matter? Oh, no, I can't remember his name. This one I'm definitely not going to remember. If you guys remember all these without needing to Google, then let me know. There he is. Yo, is it his literal ability is... I'm small. <laughs> Isn't that it? Is that all I can do? Oh, apparently he does have some abilities. Omnitrix Modification. Codes Search. Omnitrix Modification. Huh? Uh, oh, oh, I don't know how to mod that. I'm not going to risk it. I'm sorry, boys. I am risking it. If you guys know how to do that, let me know in the comments. But can I? Yeah, I can. I can squeeze under. Let's go. I mean, it makes sense. I am, I am small. <laughs> let's go. Yes, sirs. Here we go. I wonder if I got the name right with Grey Matter. I don't remember. But let's de-transform and move on to the next one. After him, we have... Oh, Diamond Head. Oh, yes. Bro, I'm actually forgetting how many dope aliens the first 10 were. Like, they were all pretty freaking sick. I hope I keep this mentality up when I keep showing off the rest of them. Dude, let's go. All right, Diamond Head. Let's see what he can do. First things first. Obviously, man looks absolutely buff as heck. Looking like Sam Solik over here. Let's see these next abilities. We've got Diamond Spikes, Diamond Punk, and Diamond Ground Surprise. All right, first move up. Let's go. This... Whoa, yo, we pull a Todoroki? Oh, shit. Yo, don't invite me to a sports festival. All right, hold on. Next move up is Diamond Punk. Is this going to be like a... Oh, yeah, okay. If I hold it down, it is just a rapid fire of diamonds. Wait, I can use that. I can use it already. If I just spawn more in, I can just use it again. Dude, this ability is busted. <laughs> yo, wait a minute. Doesn't look like it does a lot of damage, but the fact that I can just use it whenever I want... That is crazy! And then, yeah, giant ice spikes. That is sick. And then the final one being Diamond Ground Surprise. All right, let's see what this one is. Let's spawn more people over here. Spawn, 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 spawn. And Diamond Ground Surprise. Oh, shit. Wait, huh? Wait, did we just cover everyone in diamond? Uh, yo, I feel like we've got a devil fruit power right now. What is even going on? All right, Diamond Head, I see you. I see you. I kind of I kind of screw with it. I kind of like it. Let's see. if it, Is it uh, like a range attack? So if I use it here... Yeah, it is. So depending on how far they are, they all just get covered in diamond. Yo, that's dope. That's dope. Let's move on to the next alien. Who is after diamond head? Let's have a look. Up next, we have, ooh, is this Stinkfly? I'm pretty sure Stinkfly. All right, let's see this transformation. Oh, um, my arm. Oh no. Yeah, where do my arms go? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I, I always didn't really like this one. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Is it Stinkfly or Swampfly? I don't remember, but yo, 
the wing animation. Yo, that is sick. All right, so we only have two abilities. One being, of course, the fly. I mean, that makes sense, right? We are whoever this guy's name is. I've forgotten. And then we also have a goop shot, which I'm assuming we're going to be able to do while flying. So if I look up real quick, fly up into the sky and then fire. Yes. Okay. We just, we, I'm assuming just spit at them. Oh damn. It's like your mum last night. Let's go. Oh yeah. I don't like that. I, I'm not a big fan of that one. All right. Let's de-transform and move on before I have to make any more jokes about that. There we go. After him, we have old. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is this upgrade? Upgrade. Upgrade. I'm pretty sure it's upgrade. Upgrade has some unique abilities, boys. Yo, the fact it turns us into that and then fully into the upgrade look. That is dope. Okay, we have three abilities with him as well. Let's see what we got. We got huh? plus ultra. <laughs> okay. Eye laser and upgrade system. All right. This one, I feel like upgrade is going to be my favorite. All right, let's spawn some peoples in. And then plus ultra. So plus ultra. Oh, oh shit. Okay. All right. We pull some anime moves. Eye laser. Dude, dude, oh shit, okay. And then upgrade system. This one I know is a little bit different to the other moves. We actually have to spawn some people in for this one. So if we spawn the robot in, as you can see here, and then use upgrade system on the robot, we now are the robot. And of course, as the robot, we can do the attack and we can also do uh, other abilities, which, um, yeah, don't really look as good, but I'm pretty sure eye laser. Yeah, that one looks clean. But it's not just the robot that we can transform into. There is one other thing we can turn into. And let's spawn this boy in. If we go up to an iron golem, we can merge with him. And just like that, we're now upgrade, upgraded, boys. And we can do all the moves we just did before. But now, a little bit more powerful because we have upgraded ourselves, which just looks sick. And of course, this version of upgrade as well has custom animations. And we can turn into a tank. We, we could turn into a tank. I don't know if this isn't cool for you guys that I don't know what is. Like, this is freaking sick. And we can now de-transform and let the Iron Golem go. And yeah, let him um have some fun with all the husks. There we go. De-transform. And let's move on to the next alien. Who is up next? Up next, we have... Oh, crap. Yo, is it Ghost Freak? And then, and then I'm pretty sure Swamp Thing. And that looks like it's going to be it. Okay, let's go to Ghost Freak Will fast. Uh, there we go. Ghost Freak. Let's see, please. Oh. Yeah, I was about to ask for it to like show my skeleton. If that's how he does it, I am absolutely here for it. There we go, Ghost Freak. Definitely the creepiest first head alien. All right, and it's Ghost Freak. Oh, we actually have a few abilities. All right, what can we do? Possession, entanglement, wait, intang intangible? And Ghost Eye, and along with that, Firefly as well. Wait, if we use Firefly, Oh, it's just, okay, it's literally just flight with Ghost Freak. I mean, that makes sense. But what are these? Ghost Eye, Possession, and Intangible. All right, let's try Ghost Eye first. Ghost Eye. Oh. Oh, wow. All right, so we set up like Poison Mist in the sky. All right. And then Possession is actually... <gasps> oh. Oh! <laughs> yo! Oh! Yo! <laughs> I'm actually the zombie! And then I'm assuming I can use this... Oh, when I'm the zombie? Huh? Wait, does this work on anything? So if I spawn in like the new Breeze, for example, does this work on actually any mob? Spawn him in and then go uh, possess. Yeah, I'm now the Breeze. <laughs> Yo! Okay. Yo, back up, Iron Golem. Back up, bro. I don't want to deal with you right now. All right, you fight him. You fight him. Have fun with that. <laughs> Dude, that is sick. Can we use like flight while as an Iron Golem? Oh. <laughs> Yes! Yeah! Let's go! Alright, this is cursed. Alright, let's quickly land again. Sorry, Iron Golem. I'm sorry. So let's use the ability and then use it again. Huh. It didn't seem to do anything. Alright, yeah, not too sure on that one, guys. Sorry. That's alright, though. Let's jump in to the last alien for this video, which should be, I'm pretty sure, Swamp Thing or Swamp... My I, I, look, I don't remember this guy's name. I'm, I, I've said that about every alien. Watch me. I've got them all right, though. Dude, yo, the jaw, lock, wait, isn't it, is it lock jaw? Oh, it's something to do with the jaw, isn't it? <laughs> yo, there he is. Okay, this one is going to be interesting. So we have only one ability, shark spin. Oh, okay. And I'm assuming every other ability is going to be very handy in water. All right, let's see if we can find ourselves some water real quick. Here we go, just down here. Do a little acrobat dive down into the water and there we go. And yo, the tail animation. Okay, and then if I spin, 
Yeah, okay, so it's like a little dash that we can use in the water. All right, so not that crazy. Still, though, pretty cool. The fact that we have this mermaid tail, and then when we go up, we still have the tail, but as soon as you jump out of the water, he grows legs. Dude, I like that. That is sick, boys. That is actually really cool. Yo, and the model. The models do look amazing. We got to give him credit there. But sure enough, there we go, guys. That is everything at the moment in this beta version of the mod. Obviously, I think what is in this is already incredible. And if you want to check it out for yourself, everything is linked down below. Mainly the guy's channel, so you can go and support him. Tell him Butter sent you. And be sure to like his recent videos. And also follow him for updates, because, oh, I'm definitely going to be jumping in once we have the ultra matrix or the ultimate tricks or whatever it was called you know the one i'm talking about the ultimate watch that has ultimate alien and stuff like that in it i am very keen to see that one so i hope you guys did enjoy this one my name is troy and i'll see you guys in the next video this is sick and see you guys that's awesome